What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro of Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today. Today we have the April 2022 Aero Classics releases for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. I'm super excited to get into these reactions today. We have some really awesome releases here from Aero Classics, I'm sure. I've not seen them, so this is a full-fledged legitimate reaction, our third one already, which they've been coming fast, so I've been really enjoying this. So if you guys are enjoying the release videos, please let me know, I'd really appreciate it. But today we'll be evaluating the Aero Classics April releases. Hopefully we have some really good stuff here. I think there's only uh, one November prefix uh, registration, so We'll see what to expect. I'm not anticipating anything absolutely mind-blowing, but I'm really excited for this regardless. So I hope you guys are as well, and we're not going to waste any further time. We're going to get straight into this. So uh, I'm assuming that there's a good chance that on the screen here, they're going to expose some release, say whatever's hot or whatever. So I'm going to try to scroll past that. So I'm going to go over to the right. I'm going to go down. Uh, okay, so it's talking about quantities. And then, okay, here we go. Okay, so I will... Try to, I'm gonna try to scroll back over progressively, so we'll see what happens. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to scroll down, but we'll, okay, this will work. Okay, perfect. First off, we have a uh, 1 to 200 uh, Vagrail Brazil L1049 uh, G. This is Papa Pop Victor uh, Delta Echo. This is by uh, the Western Models underscore brand, whatever they call it, and uh, this is uh, some sort of quantity of money. This is a cool plane. I don't know too much about this airline, so I won't speak on it too much, but it seems like a cool plane, so I'm sure. Uh, it looks like some sort of retro aircraft, so any retro collector will definitely enjoy that, so nice release right there. Then we have this Aeropearl uh, Fairchild F27 1200 scale. Uh, this is um, Oscar Bravo Romeo 1082. I've never seen a tail number like that, so that's pretty cool, but uh, seems like a really cool plane. Again, don't know too much about it, but really nice aircraft, so glad to see that release from Aero Class 6. Uh, looks really good, so very nice right there. Next up, our first model, we have an Iron Air Vickers Di uh, Viscount uh, 700 Echo Papa Alpha Hotel Bravo Aero Classics 1 to 400 scale. This is a really cool plane, the uh, Vickers Discount uh, 700. Really, really cool. I've never seen one like this before, so uh, very cool to see this aircraft. Kind of reminds me of one of those CV aircraft, uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, kind of even the Electra a little bit, too. So this is a pretty cool plane. I'm sure any retro collector will definitely be excited for this. And this is a lot of retro stuff, so get ready to hear the term retro a lot from air classics but that's what uh, they really do a good job in um you know assessing that part of the aviation community diecast model airplane so really really nice right here very cool plane uh hope whoever chooses to get that will enjoy the model next up we have an indian airlines vickers discount 700 as well this is victor tango delta X, uh, india x-ray and this is um uh, let's see, in the one front scale, of course, by Aero Classics. Another really cool aircraft right here. This is a neat livery with the black nose cone, and then it progresses with a little bit of gray here into the red. Really cool plane. I'm sure anybody that chooses to get that will enjoy it. And these uh, seem like some small aircraft. It seem like they only probably hold 20 or 30. So very cool airplanes. And I'm sure anybody looking for that for an airport or their collection will really enjoy that aircraft. Next up, we have an Olympic Airways Douglas DC-4. Okay, this is a Sierra X-Ray Delta Alpha Golf and the one front scale. This is a really cool plane. I think that Olympics a very cool airline, airways, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Uh, DC-4 is quite a unique aircraft. You see a lot of DC-3s and DC-6s, and sorry about the sun, it's kind of uh, peeking in and out, but it's quite a cool aircraft. Really excited to see uh, that one, uh, well, it's already produced. Really excited to see how that one comes out in some different lighting conditions, but that's a really cool plane. Hope to get a DC-4 sometime, more so a DC-3 or DC-6. That's definitely the aircraft that I've been um, wanting to get one of, so. But really cool on the DC-4 right there. Very, very cool. Next up, we have a, um, yeah, this is just Avianca, right? Avianca Columbia. Uh, doubles DC-4 as well. Hotel Kilo 1309. Uh, another really cool aircraft. This is a very cool livery. Again, killing it with the DC-4s now. How about this? So some very unique aircraft for sure. Uh, this is a very nice airplane. Uh, I really like the detail that they put into it as well with the uh, cargo bait doors. Obviously, that was there on the other DC-4, but just such a cool aircraft. And uh, really excited to see that one um, in its full details. So really, really nice aircraft. Really glad to see that one produced. Well done by Aero Classics. Next up, we have a newer aircraft. This is the Malta Air Boeing 737 MAX 8. This is 9 Hotel Victor uh, Uniform Echo. I don't believe they've done this one. This is the first time I've seen this airline, as far as I'm aware. Really, really cool livery. Of course, you have the red right there on the underbelly and the big titles. Then you have a red and yellow uh, 
uh, winglet, which is quite unique. And then on the tail there, of course, you have a really cool pattern design. So really nice aircraft right there. I'm sure that one's probably in the ballpark of $45. So it seems like a cool plane for sure. Very, very nice release right there from Aero Classics. Then we have a Ram Royal Air Maroc Boeing 737 MAX 8, Charlie November, and then that's kind of cool with the MAX prefix, uh, Mike Alpha X-Ray by Aero Classics. Uh, this airline I'm a little more familiar with. I know they have a bunch of heavy operations and even into the United States a little bit. So this is a cool aircraft. Of course, we know Aero Classics is MAX mold quite a bit. So another thing to consider, they have emergency exit door on this MAX. So maybe this is a low cost airline, perhaps with all these extra seats. This one, of course, does not roll Air Maroc. I think it's a little more formal airline again i'm not sure don't know too much about multi air so not completely sure but it seems really cool right there from royal air maroc i'm sure anybody that's looking for that will be happy with that release then we have a Caribbean airline, Boeing 737 MAX 8. This is 9 uh, Yankee Charlie Alpha Lima. And this is quite a cool plane. I really like the livery on this one. Of course, you have the little bit of purple through the Euro white, and then you have a really nice design there on the tail. That's a really cool plane. I'm sure anybody looking for that will be really happy to see that. I'm sure that's a fairly popular model. So really, really cool to see Aero Classics do that. I've not seen that livery before, so I'm sure it's probably fairly unique. So very cool to see that from Aero Classics. Well done right there. Next up, we have a Gulf Air Airbus A321neo Alpha 9 Charlie November Bravo in a retro livery. I'm assuming it's uh, uh, celebrating some sort of 70th anniversary because it has a big 70 right there, but another really cool Gulf Air plane. This is really nice to complement what NG Models has done with Gulf Air. They've done several Gulf Air heavies, so it's really cool to see a narrow body done here from Aero Classics. Again, not my biggest um, expertise, pardon me, but I'm sure anybody looking for that will be very happy to see that. So really nice release right there from Aero Classics. Next up, we have an Asiana Airbus A321neo Hotel Lima A356. Really cool plane. I've not seen anybody do this particular airframe, so this is really cool now. Who knows how long it's going to last, of course, as I believe they're merging with Korean as far as I'm aware. But again, I'm sure somebody's been looking for this normal livery. It kind of reminds me of the US Airways Airbus A319 that Gemini Jets did right as the merger was happening. I'm assuming this is probably a similar connotation, so if any of you guys from uh, the Asia region may know that, please let me know. I'd appreciate it, but it seems like a really cool plain colors look pretty good as well so nice job there by aero classics really cool release and i guess that's it um uh that's weird because i thought there was a november uh hint um am i missing something here like what the heck's going on um that's odd because i was expecting a um a, a november aircraft uh, i'm gonna look through these to see if i missed it but i don't think i did that's really odd so that's the full list right there from Aero Classics. So very interesting for sure. Um, I'm gonna take a look at my email and see if I had anything else, but that's quite interesting to say the least. And yeah, guys, so here's the list from Jet Collector. So this is the full list for Aero Classics April 2022. Uh, quite a uh, unique release, not a single US plane, which is um, quite interesting, especially for our first Aero Classic video, but seems like a cool release for sure. I'm sure some of these are pretty popular. So let me know if you guys are getting any, especially my international viewers. This one is for you guys. So definitely a cool release, some interesting variety. Of course, we're going all the way from Asia to the Caribbean in this release. So, and even over to the Middle East too. So some really good releases here. Let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's a definitely a decent release um it's kind of hard to assess these especially not as a international enthusiast or not enthusiast but um uh expert so let me know what you guys think R really appreciate it if i had to pick one that interests me the most it would probably be the caribbean airline 737 max but the Asian and gulf air definitely interest me a little bit too and those viscount 700s also seem like very interesting airplanes as well so let me know what you guys think seems like a really good release overall though especially for retro collectors so let me know what you guys think i'd really appreciate it but with all that being said that'll do it for today's april 2022 releases for aero classics thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is red of aviation like thank you guys so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe just process says do what you love and love what you do my name is red of aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you <coughs> pardon me and i'll see you guys soon as red of aviation is signing off